for you as right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment that you have all been waiting for. Get ready to stare down the face of a demogorgon, grab those egos and ride those bikes. It's time for We're gonna slide to season three and everybody's favorite slushy slumber. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the good girl, Miss Lexi! This one's gonna get your blood running cold. Ladies and gentlemen, throw up the horns and get ready to welcome everybody's favorite bad guy. It's our very own Beckner. Number <laughs> one. Yes! Yes, Jimmy! Would you like to see David shake some pom poms? <laughs> You're psychopaths. <laughs> hey, what's up, Liverpool? You guys, are, you guys are really cool, I have to say. You guys are super nice and chill and a lot of fun. So thank you. Thank you for being so welcome. You, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> So you guys have been here for a couple of days. Have you been out and around in Liverpool or have you just chilled out? What sights have you seen? How many people have you interacted? I guess thousands and thousands of you have been to uh, have been to come and see the cast of Stranger Things. But what are, what are some of the most beautiful sights that you've seen currently with being here with us? It's a little hard uh, sometimes to leave the hotel. So, <laughs> so uh, I've seen a lot of the inside of my hotel room, which is lovely. Uh, uh, but I do notice that there's a ton of like karaoke going on in this city, downtown, and I'm jealous, so I don't think I'll be able to do it, but please do some karaoke for me. I do a Mean Faith by George Michael. You can do it right now. I can do it right now. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. <laughs> well, I guess it will be nice. We'll be in there. Hey, yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been loving it. Well, I just want to say, on behalf of the viewing audience and everyone on Netflix, to the four of you that are with us today, thank you. Thank you for making such an amazing show, uh, truly epitomizing the characters that you portray, because it means so much to me, guys, so much to me. Please give it up for the Strange and Things cast. <laughs> Legendary. He's going to live forever. And speaking of living forever, we want your questions to live forever. These are going to be posted live on face, uh, on YouTube, as well as on Facebook and Instagram around the world. Please make sure you are up and ready to ask your questions. We have microphone positions in one, two, three, and four around our beautiful auditorium. And when we come to you, please state your name clearly and your question concisely for our amazing panel of guests. So, are we ready for the first question, guys? Shall we go to number one? Let's go to number one first. Hi, number one. Tell us your name and your question. Hey, I'm Jodie, and I think David's kind of answered it. I was going to ask, do any of you have a party trick? And I'd love to hear you singing karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't sing karaoke for you, because that's not a party trick. That's like a party uh, punishment for everyone else around me. But I can uh, touch my tongue to my nose. Watch this. <laughs> I can see the clicks coming in already. I can yeah. see the... Alec? Um, I don't have a trick. I just kind of just just sit there. Really. 
afraid of that. Do you know what I mean? But I like to interact with friends, you know, just have a drink and just have a good time. Pretty low key, maybe. You know. Sounds great. <laughs> great. I can cry on demand. So I don't get invited to a lot of parties. <laughs> Uh, Shoot on a grace right now. Let's see what we got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, my trick is not turning up. Vanishing <laughs> act. Yeah, there you go. Irish goodbye. Beautiful. Give it up. Wonderful question. Thank you so much. Quick <laughs> <Thank you. clears throat> the slide to number two. What's your name and question, please? Hi, I'm Hannah. You might remember me from the photo. I have something to tell you and a subject to ask you. So the thing I want to tell you first is uh, I met Eddie in London and the thing I want to ask you is for everyone um, what's your favourite episode and what's your favourite bit in the episode? Oh Harry, that's lovely. Can we have an off? A good question. Adorable. <laughs> How old are you Harry? Nine. Oh my god. I wish I had that much poise. Nine. <laughs> right, who wants to start? Grace, what about you? My favorite episode is Dear Billy, mm. when mm. Max is running away from our dear Vector. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. I think it's beautiful. I think the whole of Dear Billy is amazing. I think that scene where she's in with the council is particularly powerful as well. Um, it's very just inward and, and later it's a beautiful performance so yeah yeah she's amazing um for me you know we have a lot of seasons to draw from so a lot of people love season four i really love aspects of season one and the last sequence of season one where um 11 is in the classroom with the demogorgon and she sort of evaporates, and, and Hopper and Joyce are resuscitating Will, and Will comes back to life, and there's a Moby song that plays called um, When It's Cold, I'd Like to Die, uh, in the background, and the way that is done is always, uh, I always get choked up when I watch that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got such a sentimental, emotional audience today, I love it. <laughs> Mine was, um, I think, with Dustin's, character in the second season when he goes for that balance with a girl. Like it was still adorable. I just liked it. I, I, I thought it just reminded me of very sad kittens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was more successful though. <laughs> oh I love that question. Give it up for Harry Joffrey. Superstar you are. Rock up. Throw it up, Harry. Throw it up. Let me see you. Yes, perfect. Well done, well done. We're going to head up to number three. Hi, number three. State your name and your question, please. So, my name is Megan. Um, and can I just say before my question, A, I sacrificed my question for my friend who couldn't be here. And B, last year it took me two weeks to watch Stranger Things and then actually get out to me. And you can all cheer. Joseph Quinn. Um, <laughs> But my question is for my friend who is in acting school and she wants um, <coughs> acting advice. Her name is Kaylee and I'm currently called it. <coughs> I have some advice. Um, I do think that the struggle with modern, uh, the modern world and young people acting is that I think there's a lot of emphasis put on brand and like on your Instagram and on your followers and on whether or not people like you and things like that. And I think that's very difficult because I think that acting is about your particular expression and your particular viewpoint of the world. And I would encourage you to train and develop your unique voice and also to train the skill of acting. Because I think as the world moves forward in this branded department, branding is gonna be very common but having a lot of skills is gonna be very rare and very valuable. So that would be my sort of general note. That's a great answer, absolutely perfect. I hope you take that back to Kaylee with love. Yes, give a round of applause. We're gonna shoot over to four, hi guys. Hi, my name is Theo, and my question for all of you is, what was the most emotional scene that you've had to film? Ooh, 
I said, well, what took it? I'm strange, it's the most emotional thing. I know what it is for Grace, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, is it that death or no? No, actually, it's oh. the bathroom scene. Oh, yeah. It was my first scene filming on Stranger Things, so I also had a lot of anxiety. <laughs> well, you killed it. <laughs> Did she kill it, didn't she? first scene because you already you already know what it is so you're kind of trying not to mess up what was our was it with us yeah, yeah what was you, it you were shoving me in the car <laughs> <laughs> he did not hold back i just want to say when he gets into character that's it you know and it it's true of, yeah it's true he didn't shy away from it i felt very shy around you i'll be honest um but yeah the first scenes are always the hardest in general Um, I think there, there was sort of two. Um, one is really weird, actually. There's there's a scene where um, the guards are, are, are zapping Henry, and then he's sort of dragged out, and Eleven sees, and, and, and Bren is kind of watching it all happen. And I, like, really kind of put myself in quite an uncomfortable space beforehand just to feel it, just to have it kind of coming through me, um, even though, like, I'm kind of, like, in and out of sort of consciousness. Um, so that was quite emotional because I was like actually crying beforehand. And then um, in Seven, where I'm like walking up to a, a young Millie, um, I had some weird thoughts coming through my head, just that came out of nowhere, but I never expected to come. So that was quite strange. I had to sort of take myself outside afterwards to be like, okay, calm down, everything's fine. Like you're okay. Like yeah. So it was all kind of amazing. There's there's a sort of freedom that happens with any anything when you're performing like that and, and that you sort of have a revelation, you're like, holy shit, um, that's really, really powerful. So yeah, I had two of those in, in, in the show. I mean, again, there's like so much to draw on from the four seasons, but I would say um, a lot of the stuff between uh, me and Millie is very emotional, me and Eleven, and especially in season two, there was a lot of stuff like in that cabin, there's a big scene, I think it's episode four or five, where we get in a big fight and uh, the windows explode in the cabin. And that was a really tough day, you know. It was a very emotional day. And, uh, you know, you're, you're working with kids. She was, I think, 12 or 13 at the time. And, you know, you're doing some pretty intense stuff. So it was a very, very emotional day filming that. Great answers all the way around. A wonderful question. Thank you. Bro. Well, we're going to do a little deep dive into, into the psyches of our wonderful cast uh, as we go into our next question. Supposing... <laughs> Jamie's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you guys took yourselves out of character and were just your individual selves, and you were trapped in the upside down, who would you like to have with you from the cast to help you get out? Who could you rely on to relieve you of all the stress and the vigor and the imminent doom of Vecna and the Demogorgons, who would get you out? I mean, none of us cast actors would survive for more than five minutes, because <laughs> we're all a bunch of wimps. But it would be nice to have uh, the adorable Joe Keery with me, <laughs> just to hold him close as we were devoured by an interdimensional monster. Oh, I love it. Like, you know what? I love the branding for it because when season four was coming out, they had all the billboards that just said "Protect Steve," and it was just <laughs> we love that. Guys, yeah, any anybody else? I, I feel like I could rely on Sadie. She's yeah. smart. She's put together. Great. Yeah. yeah. She's beat Beckham before, kind of. Yeah. Max is the boss. Millie, I'd have Mills. I think she'd sort of just take charge and just tell me what to do, which would be really nice. <laughs> Lovely. Just get up. I think Gayton actually is quite clever. Yeah. He's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a clever boy. I think he'll, he'll know his way around. He's very confident as well. There's something about child actors these days. And then, yeah, they just know what they're doing. And he can work his way around the corners. They know when they earn more, you know. It's fascinating. Oh, I love that. <laughs> we got Dustin Banzi, right? Yes! Talk to me, number one. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Sophia. 
and my question for all of you is if you could be anyone else on the Stranger Things cast, who would you be? Ooh, okay. Recast yourself. I'd be Karen Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I love it. <laughs> I think the rest of the cast will have it. Great bathing suit scene, David. <laughs> I need to see that. Probably Dustin. Yeah. James is Dustin's character. We have Dustin Jamie? Uh, probably Brenner. I think I'd do well as Brenner. I don't like Brenner, but I'd probably do well as Brenner. Yeah. I think you'd smash it. Thank you. We send it all out of out to the one and only Matthew Bodine, who's met him. Have you had a fun time with Matthew? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he signed autos and stuff like that. We'd have loved to have had him with us, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Thank you so much, so much for your wonderful question. Give a round of applause. That's done. We're going to come over to two. Hi, two. Oh, Hi. Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> Question, Harry, and you literally scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> what, anything strange happened on set? Anything weird? Any pranks played on set? You're working with loads of kids. No pranks, but I had some weird stuff happen. Oh, man. Um, I, like, we film in, in, in Georgia, or the show films in Georgia, in America, and I, I was living in this guest house of these people, and in, on like the third day of living in this guest house, this black cat came and kind of sat outside my door and it stayed with me for the whole duration of the shoot. And then the day I was leaving, it never showed up. And so I felt like it was there to kind of look after me in some way, at least that's what some friends of mine said. That and I had an ant crawl in my ear, <coughs> and in my ear for three days. <laughs> that was pretty shit. <laughs> Look at Alex face! <laughs> <laughs> uh, can anybody stop that? Are we all good? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> we meant to build to it. We meant to build it. Give him a round of applause. How are they doing? <laughs> oh, Chrissy, we've got some cheerleaders up at the back there for you, Grace. Take a little look. Hi, number you guys three. Look amazing. Okay, so if you could make up any of your own characters to eject into Stranger Things, is there anybody different that you you you'd want to that you want to introduce to the Stranger Things universe? Probably like a karate kid. Yes. <laughs> the eighties, like that's the yeah. thing, isn't it? So we could do any time period. I was thinking like Cleopatra. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> James got well for that Cleopatra versus <laughs> Vega. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Karaki's pretty, pretty sweet. I mean, they are doing, they're doing a play, I think, in London about young, uh, young, like Joyce Hopper and Henry Creel in the high school, which I guess would be the late 50s, early 60s. Um, but that sounds pretty interesting to me to see those guys as young. Probably like Steve Harrington's dad would be around, awesome. Bob Newby's around, a bunch of characters. Yeah. Oh, oh, we love that. We love that. Excellent. Wonderful question. Thank you so much for our Jimmy. Well, we're going to go. We're going to go to four. Hi, four. Hi, my name is Saren, and can you tell me about the funniest moment on set? Oh, the funniest moment. Can you guys see Sarah? That's it. Where is she? Come on, Sarah. So there she is. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Funniest moment on set. Any hijinks, anything that truly cracked you? David, you have one. Mm -hmm. With the, I mean, you guys have seen that blooper, I've heard a lot of you have seen those blooper reels from uh, season three. I had a moment where I couldn't say the word grandma <laughs> for about five hours. I ruined an entire day of shooting because I couldn't say this. Yeah, that was like, I just got the giggles and I just could not stop laughing. 
I watched that over and over and, and over, over again. again. It was so fun. And they only show like two minutes of it in the bloopers. I swear to God, there's five hours of that. <laughs> Millie and Finn both were like, what is wrong with you? You're Finn going, you got this, mate. You got this, you're fine. It's me, it's me and Mike, and I'm just going like, he's like, uh, he's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, uh, you know, not everything's okay. He's like, what is it? I'm like, it's your grandma. <laughs> it's your grandma! I love it. Give it up for wonderful Sarah. There she is. Uh, we're going to head to number one. Hi, number one. Before you start, say the word grandma. Grandma. There you go. She got it. For it. Hi, everyone. My name is Madison, and my question is Would you rather be on the basketball team or in Hellfire Club? Oh, good question. Would you be on the basketball team? Do I look like I'm made for sports? <laughs> Hellfire. Yeah. Lots of these people out here think you're made for speed. Who will come around? Go on, guys. I was on the basketball team in high school, but it really wasn't cool. We kind of retreated the way the Hellfire Club was treated. So, both. <laughs> yeah, basketball and then in the evening, rock club. <laughs> That's a wonderful like, fantasy. Like, like rocks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Hellfire Club. You know, feel like that. We got some members of the Hellfire Club in the house. Yes. Thank you. Give it up for Madison. Well done, well done, well done. Wonderful question. You guys are rocking tonight. Hope you enjoy. Are you having a good time? Yeah. That's what we'd like to say. Michael Myers is having a good time right down here. <laughs> Number two, hi guys. Hi, I'm Freya and this is Alice. It's her birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Um, but our question is, if you could change one thing about the show, what would it be and why? <clears throat> would you change anything about the show? Eddie dying. Yes. <laughs> Anybody change anything else? I, 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 I'd like to take the thing from three. Maybe like change the time period would be interesting. Just to see if it would work well in sort of period costumes. Roughs. <laughs> More roughs in the show, that's what I'd like to see. Victorian England. <laughs> Strange England. A bit of angle. <laughs> oh, I've done Joyce. Thou hast seen me at my worst. Thou hast come to Russia to save it me. This is the play I want to see. <laughs> you guys have paid money to see that, right? Two questions. Um, first off, can Jamie, can you do the Vecna voice? No. Ah! <laughs> do it, please. No, next. <laughs> can we say our other voice? You can watch the show, you can just do a watch it on your phone. <laughs> um, and also, Jodie's drawing you a picture and she's wondering if she can give it to you. Oh, yeah, come, come on up, love. One of us will take it. There we go. Give him a round of applause. Well done, well done. Superstars that you are, strutting down those stairs in funky style, with in hand. I'm really, yeah, it really feels like it, doesn't it? Come on down. There we go. Give her a round of applause. Well done, Jay. We're going to move up to number four. Hi, number four. I am Saffron, and this is Felix. Birthday today. What was your favourite season to film and why? Four. <laughs> and why? <laughs> oh, right. Um, because I got to work with you, Jamie. That's the only reason why I picked four. <laughs> Directed at you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
guess this is that anyone else has an answer. Uh, three, because I was in it. Um, yeah, that's Alex's answer. Uh, for me, I mean, I gotta say, I'm kind of a purist. Like, I, they all have their own flavor, but I, season one was kind of the most uh, fun because we didn't know what it was. We had no idea what the show was. Nobody cared about us at all, and we were just a bunch of misfits down in Atlanta making a show that, you know, I remember even nowadays, everyone's so big on spoilers. Like, yeah, I swear to God, anything we've already said on this panel, that we're all gonna get calls from Netflix saying like, you spoiled something. And I remember Modine, actually, I wish he was here, because he went on a talk show before season one and basically explained the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> he were like, he's like, I'm shooting a show down in Atlanta, it's about this, and there's like a telekinetic kid, and he comes on, and I'm a doctor, but no one cares. <laughs> so uh, that was kind of a, um, an amazing way to start the show. It was just like as an actor with a bunch of kid actors, nobody doing anything. It was really fun to film that one. Beautiful, lads. Thank you so much for your wonderful questions, guys. <laughs> We're gonna come down to one. Hi, who we got now on one? I love the way that they're hiding behind the numbers. I can't see. Hi. What's your name? What's your favorite character in Straight? Apart from yourselves, what's your favorite character in Straight? Karen Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> you had dinner with her, that's what I'm... Call her up, man. I love Karen Wheeler. <laughs> Wheeler. <laughs> Alec, what was it? I like all of them, to be honest with you. you know, they bring different things and it's just so creative. I, um, I like Max, for example, and Diddy's you know, thing in the second season especially, and Dustin in the first season. I think you have to break it down by season. Because everybody has their moment, and that's what's great about the show, I think. It gives everybody an opportunity. Perfect. And Carol Wheeler in all four seasons. <laughs> I like Murray. He's amazing. So good. Amazing character. Amazing. So cool. Hi, like Robin. Yeah, definitely. We're not touched on Maya. What an absolutely epic performance that she put across, and the chemistry that she had against with Joe was just phenomenal and out of this world. And as we were all cheering for them to get together and the revelation, uh, it was it was just everything that they are great as a comedy duo. Would that be something that you, you'd like to see as a spin-off show? Would be the Steve and Robin experience. Yeah. That'd be awesome, that'd be awesome. Thanks so much for your question. Where's our question? Yeah, for about some beautiful. Uh, question two. Hi. Uh, back two, even. Hi. Hi, I'm Olivia. Um, who was the most irritating person on the show? <laughs> Who's the most irritating person on the show? <coughs> Me. <laughs> By far. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Shut down. <laughs> Oh, thank Joseph you. Quinn. <laughs> well, <a> Joe, <laughs> he's all right. We don't like jokes here, Jamie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say that's the amount of autographs yeah. selling that right. <laughs> Drawing good night. <laughs> like a refund. <laughs> Number three, how are we doing up there? Oh, hi. I just saw a hand over the three. <laughs> Who is the funniest person on set? Oh, who is the funniest person on set? Was there anybody that pranked by anybody more than anybody else? Have we answered that one already? Was there anybody really, really funny? I mean, I, you know, I think the Duffer brothers who create our show, they're the guys who write and direct a lot of the episodes. I think they're pretty funny. Uh, they don't mean to be, <laughs> but I think they're pretty funny because basically they just sort of wander around and do this. <laughs> and I just laugh my ass off. <laughs> oh, 
what they're stewing up to make you guys No, they're just like, they're just creative geniuses, but they're also, you know, like any genius, uh, they're a little bit inward and a little bit socially awkward. And that's adorable and when it's two of them. And they just wander around like planets, revolving around like a moon and a sun, just doing that. <laughs> Like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> Love that. Great question. Thank you so much. Give it up. Number three. Number four. Hi. Hi. My name's Jess, and my question is that obviously throughout the four seasons, a lot has happened. But if you could change one thing for your character, what would it be? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> to say it. Live. <laughs> That's a great answer. That's, a, that's a literally like the perfect answer is just to live. Shall we shall we do that just to live? Yeah, we'll go for that. Give it up for four. Perfect. That's that's quite intriguing actually. Because there are certain characters within the show, yeah, I mean, that have all got this lovable aura around them, but they only tend to last for one season before they're killed off. So obviously you've got people like Bob, and Bob, and Alexi, and Chrissy, uh, and of course Eddie. Um, however, they only last for one season. Now is it better, um, obviously it's not for you guys an actor, because obviously you, you, want, you, you want more role. However, is it better to be slain and loved, or to live on in less infamy? Slain and loved. Yeah, I think. For sure, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Go for it. Live on and cause chaos. <laughs> You're just a little bit dark, are you, brother? I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, man. Live on and save the world. <laughs> yeah! You've heard it here from home for himself. Love that. We'll go to number one. Hi. Hello, my name is Emily, and you may remember me from the photos and the gift, and I have a couple of questions. If you were an actor in the 80s, who would you play in what movie? And if Stranger Things was actually made in the 80s, who would, you, your who would play your character? Okay, that's a nice thing. That's like an onion question. It's one of the layers. <laughs> let's see. Well, let's take it back to the 80s first. Yeah, I guess mine would be the same. Like, it would be the same one, I guess. Like, I actually don't think I'm at all on this level, but in my romantic view of myself, right? In, uh, if, if I were cast in a movie from the 80s, I would love it to have been Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And if certain things happened in the 80s and I could choose my dream actor to play Jim Hopper, it would be Harrison Ford. Yeah. We've got it top level there. <laughs> this is going to be a tough task. Let's go. Grace already shaking her head. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to put Paul Newman in anything. So. As Chrissy? As, as Chrissy, yeah. <laughs> as Becca, probably no. <laughs> it could shake a pom pom better than well. Jamie? I, su I suppose mine is kind of like the same answer for both questions. Like, I, I would, I would love to have played Pinhead in in Hellraiser. It would have been amazing. And then equally to see Doug Bradley as Vecna would be amazing. So. What an amazing! But that is a sensational question. Give it up for number one. Well done, well done. Truly tremendous. Like we've spoken of Robin, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our very own Robin at number two. Give us your question. Hi, I just want to say before I start, um, thank you for how kind you were at the photos and autographs and for the hugs I got. Wow. Um, but my, but Dart had, um, Dustin had Dart, and I was wondering if you had a mythical creature as a pet, what would it be and why? Okay, so if you had a mythical creature as a pet, like a Patronus, I guess, from Harry Potter, mm. something to follow you around, what would it be? Who'd have a unicorn? A liger. Yeah, nobody's seen that. Is it? No? Okay, a liger. It's like half lion, half tiger. There you go. I don't know. Probably not. No. They do exist. I don't, well, then, a, a, not a liger. Something else. I don't think I'd have a liger. I'd have a 
clue that the guy from The NeverEnding Story. Oh, yeah. That's a good sham. I like, I would have a phoenix. Oh, yeah. I'd like a Care Bear. <laughs> Heart exploding. Yeah! Awesome. If you know anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you back for that. That's amazing. Give it up for number two. Welcome. <laughs> We're gonna head up top jump before we, 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 uh, we head to number three. Just to let you guys know, we've got about 10 minutes left. We will try and get to as many questions as we can. However, with 10 minutes, there's only certain numbers we can do. Number three. Hi, hey, all right. Uh, my name's Tasha. Uh, Jamie might remember me as the random counterfeit fan from yesterday. Uh, my question's kind of to do with that. Uh, obviously, you've got a lot of talented musicians in the cast with Jamie, Maya, Finn, Joe. Uh, do you see Stranger Things ever doing a Buffy-style What's More With Feelings musical episode? And uh, if so, are you expecting to drop in the hottest mail track of the summer? <laughs> Oh, that would be amazing. I mean, <laughs> clearly everybody would be interested. Yeah, I think it would be so sick. I don't know, like, I know Matt and Ross anyway, like, love music and find it so emotive. Like, they're always kind of listening to music in general whenever anyone's working on stuff. And a lot of the actors also use music on set as well to kind of get into their space and into their zone, which is really, really cool. In fact, so much so that some people actually have it playing on the set, which is so sick. Um, so yeah, I think if Matt and Ross ever wanted to do a musical, it would just be so cool. It'd be really, really cool. Kind of could be like dark and kind of Danny Elfman-esque, kind of, you know, just spooky and The Cure. And yeah, it'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. Uh, I'd, I'd like to play in the band, absolutely, but that's just me being selfish. So, yeah. <laughs> Great question. Thank you so much for it. Give it up. Would you like to incorporate some music into it? Because Stranger Things is, is, is massive within the concept of the music industry and the, the, uh, the resurgence of, uh, obviously, the epics like running up that hill. As we run up the steps to number four, what we, yes, mate, sorry about that. <laughs> Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Hi, my name's Ella. And I'm Maya. First of all, we just wanted to say that you're all amazing and this question is for all of you. Um, so we know that most of you have only come into Stranger Things in about like season three or four, apart from you, David. Um, but we were wondering, who was the first friend that you guys made on set? <laughs> David's got his camera. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. In all seriousness, mine was actually Joe Quinn. Uh, we, yeah, yeah. We, we met at the read through. He was kind of the first person, and I've said this before. Like we, you know, we're English and we're smokers, so we met outside smoking cigarettes. So that was really nice. It was really cool, and we were kind of sat next to each other as well, close to each other at the read through at least. So yeah, Joe. Yeah, Sadie and Joe were the first time met. They're lovely. We love that. Uh, for me, it was uh, Winona Ryder. <laughs> Give it up for Winona Ryder, please. Uh, yeah. 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 It's not a Stranger Things uh, Comic Con without the absence of Winona Ryder. She will never do one of these. I'm sorry. She's fantastic. Um, she's a very shy person. Uh, she, we went out before the thing started and we had dinner and she just like pulled me into a corner and talked to me for about five hours and uh, I was like, wow, uh, it's going to be very easy to fall in love with this woman over the course of seven years. Brilliant question, truly amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. Going to come down to number one. Huh? What's your name? My name's Clay. I'm really sorry for the question, but I'm Jamie. We star in the TV series for Camelot. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Mum. I only lasted for one season. <laughs> At least someone else has seen it, not just me. <laughs> you and my mum. <laughs>
would you be appearing in season two, even though it's like 10 years old now, would you appear in season two and you would like to have seen it all further? Yeah, 100%. I love, I love the arc of, of sort of what that character was going through, this idea of being fucked out of like obscurity and of living a sort of relatively normal life to then being thrown into this position of kind of, you know, leading a country and an army. Were you King Arthur? Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah. yeah, you should watch it with my mum. <laughs> That's it. So I'm going to have to sit down with her next week and we're gonna watch, binge the whole thing. Sounds great, it was Camelot, it was like, it was like Arthur, Lancelot, Merlin, the whole thing? The whole thing, yeah, yeah. We had uh, Joe Fiennes and Ava Green and James Purefoy, and it was on Stars. It was cool. It was good I want a second season of this. <laughs> I think it would be different and probably better now. I think I'd do Arthur more justice. At the time, I was like 19, so it, was, it wasn't, I wasn't as sort of centered and focused as I am now. Um, yeah, so that's also another reason why I'd like to go back and do it, I suppose, just having more experience under my belt now and knowing more about myself, I think I'd bring a new element to it. So yeah, yeah, I would. Epic question, thank you so much. This is okay, it's great, it's great. Let's move on to two. Karen Wheeler. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ava, and um, David, you might remember me, you signed my roller skates. Oh yeah. yeah. And have you ever stole anything off set? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, was that directly me? Yes. You know that uh, big sword that I chopped the Demogorgon's head off in season four? <laughs> <laughs> That's not there anymore. <laughs> what about the rest of you? Any of the, the rest of you? I asked politely. I, I had a watch was a very Soviet, sort of authentic watch, and it looked pretty cool. So I just asked for it, and they gave it to me. Yeah. I asked for my dead body, and they said no. <laughs> <laughs> I got really dark, really quick. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> I've got that, I've got one of the hands of Beckner at home. Yeah, yeah, in a, in a, in a, in a box. <laughs> that is a brilliant question. Thank you so much for posing me. I'm revealing that I'm past the criminals. Uh, let's go up to three. Hey! Hi, I'm Lucy. Um, I just wondered if you had like any pre-ritual stuff you did before you went on set? Like, any kind of thing you did at the train or whatever? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, lots. I mean, not stuff that I'd be comfortable to share, but yes, lots is the answer. Yeah. Inviting insects into my body was one of them. Yeah, I mean, on a serious tip, uh, we did, you know, uh, we're all actors, I think, and we sort of have all of our process about how to go about stepping on a set. Because, you know, as much as it looks just fun to you guys, and it looks this whole thing, it's hard work, and it also just takes a lot of focus uh, to do this in front of a crew of hundreds of people and people that are not that interested in what you're doing, who are like, you know, waiting for lunch. And it just, you know, there's a lot of things going on where you have to focus your mind and your and your emotions. And so I have a pretty specific actor process that I go through, and I'm sure you guys do too. Yeah. I draw from his actor <laughs> yeah. process, to be honest I with you. I taught Alec. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is. You work with other actors. You have to kind of just try and gain as much from them as you can. And you do that naturally, especially if they're you know, more developed, I would say, and experienced. So definitely, I mean, you have Winona Ryder and David Harbour, and obviously, you know, Brett, and, and so many good actors, even the young kids. Some of them were in acting longer than I have. Some of them were. Yeah. There you go. Epic. Love it. Thank you so much for your wonderful question. We've got time for one more. Number four, we're going to finish it off with you. I'm so sorry for the crews that have, have waited to ask questions. We just run out of time, guys. Unfortunately, we're going to finish it off with number four. Hi, my name is Ify. I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, my question is, it was original for Jamie, but since he's not doing solo panel, I can ask all of you. My question is, um, if you could marry, kill, or kiss your, uh, any of your characters for previous ones or uh, upcoming ones, which one will you choose and why? 
the characters that you yourself have played? Yes. Jamie, King Arthur, Queen <laughs> Mary. I'd kill every version of me I've ever played. <laughs> Can't imagine kissing or marrying myself at all. I'm a bloody nightmare. Grace? I think we've lost Grace. <laughs> I think Chrissy's marriable. She's sweet. Then yeah, kill everyone else. <laughs> Yeah, I played a lot of dark characters, I'll be honest with you, yeah. Yeah? So probably Alexi is the only one that is kind of marriable. Do the boys! Sorry, I think she's going to be put back. This is a PG show, alright? Kiss, Mary kill. Yes, Captain. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I... I guess I marry Hopper. I think I kiss uh, Santa. Yes. And then I kill, and then I guess I have to kill the Red Guardian. No, I don't want to kill him either, but you gotta kill somebody. You can't kill Santa, you kill Hellboy. I'll kill Hellboy. <laughs> A great, yet very weird question. Give it up for number four. Our time with our amazing Stranger Things cast is coming to an end. However, if you want to do something really different and really strange, would you like to get the world's biggest selfie with our Stranger Things cast? Yes! So if we can, if we can invite you if you are able, if you can, please be upstanding. Please raise out your seats. And if you can scoot yourselves towards our side, if you can, get yourselves into position where you can sit. 